Okay, so this is the equalizer four point sway control hitch. Uh, it's a great little hitch. It's got the seven way plug. So we, I just got back from Campers Inn in Ocala. So we're gonna disconnect and I'll show you the setup as we disconnect. Seven way plug, it's got a little hideaway right there for it. You got your hitch pin right here to open. That opens it. So it's got two chains. Nice long heavy duty chains. And then it's got the trailer brake cable right here. Take all that off and hang it up there. This has one little easy clip pin that pops out. And then this bar pulls off real easy. Sometimes when you're trying to get it attached, you may have to let your um, tongue jack down to raise it up to get this on. But if you don't want to do that, they give you this little bar right here. It's a pretty handy little bar. There's that number right there. And then you're in. You can put your hitch pin in. And that locks it down. So we're taking it apart. It comes off fairly easy. Now they say don't grease this. It says to keep some good black spray paint to paint these. So you don't want to grease there. But what, you, what we bought were these little um, plastic caps from Equalizer. It helps reduce the noise when you're towing. They slide on real easy. And instead of grease, it just breaks the friction between the metal. And then we come to this other side and we'll do the same thing. Take off the chain. Same thing, you got this little pin right here. This pin locks it in. Take that off. Pull this out. This has got one of those little caps right here. They install real easy. They're pretty cheap. They were under 20 bucks because it makes a lot of noise if you don't. So that's pretty much the equalizer hitch. It comes with um, the whole setup right here from in here out. Um, this stuff is all adjustable for your rig. Our coupling here is adjustable. This is a Curt adjustable coupler. So Campers Inn set it up for me when I bought it. I didn't have to do anything. Basically, I just take it apart when I get home. The other thing I do is take these pins out and then I take this arm off and put it away for the weekend, get it out of the weather, pull this pin off, put the pin back in there, take this off, and then we're ready. Put the tongue jack down. So the Equalizer website has an um, instructional video on how to set it up to make sure to take the weight off of your um, truck. So I haven't done any of that yet, except Campers Inn did all that for us when we bought it. Um, but they say it's a good idea to check it from time to time to make sure nothing's changed. The equalizer hitch that comes with everything you see here from this pin back. Um, it's ready to go. It's a heavy duty setup. You can see the adjustable holes right here so depending on the size of your truck or where your tongue is you can change that. And then you need to grease right here. We bought the equalizer grease. This top of this bar in the bottom wherever that moves you want to grease it it tells you here uh, well, it doesn't tell you there, but anyway, it tells you on the instruction manual to keep these greased so that um, it makes a lot of noise if you don't grease it. When we first bought it, it was not greased and it cries. So we bought the equalizer grease and we bought the little plastic caps and we're good to go. It's a real simple, simple setup and it works great. Okay, so the other part of the, the sway control hitch 
are these bars that mount on your frame of your trailer. Now, when Ember first came out, they were not putting these um, inch and a half square tubes up here, and the gearbox was interfering with being able to put um, the hitch on because there's a certain dimension from uh, the bar that connects to your truck to this where it has to be and these boxes were interfering now they've started with this inch and a half square tube raising it up so this does now fit on here I've been getting a lot of comments from people about the hitch wouldn't work originally they sold us at the RV show um, a R3 recurve hitch I believe and that one wouldn't work I heard them out in the shop at Campers Inn talking about some issues they were having. I didn't really know in the beginning what the problem was, but I later found out that the hitch wouldn't fit. So they went with this equalizer. That's how we ended up with the equalizer. And I'm happy with it. It does a great job for me. And here is the equalizer high performance lubricant that we bought. It's a nice um, blue colored grease that we use on contact points on the hitch that's connected to the truck and we use it on top of the ball they recommend to grease the top of the ball no grease on this part so that's pretty much it